basically it shows a comparison between the power that can be generated by a single fuel pellet, which is about the size of the last digit of your little finger, a little smaller. I'm standing next to one ton of coal at the EEC Electrical Energy Education Center. We're looking at what literally is a ton of coal or three barrels of oil or a gas pipeline connection, basically. Yeah, of course, that is real coal, but the barrels are empty, and they, as is the pipe. And that single pellet is, is, uh, has the energy capability of three barrels of oil, a ton of coal, or 17,000 cubic feet of natural gas. This gives you an idea of the real efficiency of nuclear power. This is a model of a segment of the pipeline that comes to Palo Verde. Actually, three different sizes uh, of pipe in use, and this is the larger of those sizes. But it's a buried pipeline that comes 36 miles to the site and carries the sewage effluent cooling water that's used uh, in the plant. How, how large is this pipe in diameter? It's, it's like 166 inches, I believe, this size. There's one pipe, and you can see a picture of it. That's uh, where it's unearthed here, and you can kind of get an idea based on the size of the guy standing here working on it. What are we looking at right now? We're out in the parking lot of the EEC. Yeah, this is uh, sitting out in front of, the, uh, front of the Energy Education Center. This is a full-scale uh, cutaway mock-up of a dry cast storage container. Uh, these are used to store the used or spent fuel that comes out of the reactor. In our case, uh, about 80 to 100 come out of, uh, out of the reactor every uh, 18 months or every year and a half. And uh, they are stored in, in these steel cans that are inside of a steel canister. That steel canister then is stored in a steel-lined, concrete-walled, cask uh, and those ver what we call vertical concrete cask or VCCs and then those are placed on a pad uh, out in an area near the operating units. So we have one of these pads where the Palo Verde plant is? That's correct. About the size of a football field uh, and in that, uh, in that space we can store all of, the, uh, all of the waste that's generated from the plant uh, in its 40-year initial licensing period and beyond. And that includes the, I guess, re-licensing period? I think it's been added another 60 years? Well, no, it, if to a total of 60 years, another 20. That space should contain most, if not all, of that over that 60 years. We may have to expand it slightly uh, beyond, again, about the size of a football field, but uh, it won't have to be dramatically increased. So what we're basically talking about is 60 years waste from one power plant that generates approximately a third of the energy for Arizona. All you need to cover that amount of waste or that amount of used fuel is one football field worth over 60 years. Correct. And that's not even pure fuel. We're talking about uh, steel-lined, thick concrete canisters. Right. So you can see there's there's uh, several feet uh, on either side uh, that that is part of that footprint as well. The actual storage canister is this inner steel-lined area here. So not only are the steel canisters not the most, shall we say, efficient storage, but you also have a lot of space between them. So what happens, in essence, is you're putting a steel canister in. The fuel still has some, uh, some thermal energy to it that's coming off of that canister. And so there are air spaces where air goes between the steel liner of the vertical concrete cask and the steel liner of the, uh, of the actual container, uh, the outside wall, and then it, vents, it can vent out the top.